Hey everyone, it's CL. I'm filming really late tonight. It's about 11.30, so I'm trying to keep it down. Hopefully you can still hear me. And I'm doing it very minimalist right now. Um, I don't even have my normal light up. But hopefully, you know what? This doesn't look too terrible. Excuse my messy bed with my doggies. Um, we're just winging it tonight. So how are things going tonight? Not the greatest in the sense I feel like I've been very, very active on Poshmark and like there's nothing to show for it. I don't see very many likes. I didn't get any sales or offers or anything like that. Not even very many follows or share back. Like I shared a bunch of people's closets. Normally in turn they share mine back and it just wasn't a lot. And I know it's most likely the current climate that we're in. It is virus apocalypse. So I am understandable when it comes to that, but it just feels discouraging in the sense like what's the point I'm like giving myself carpal tunnel trying to share my closet and what's it to show for. But I'm not going to let that stop me because when you add all the effort up, it will turn out just fine. But I did get an eBay sale. I listed something. It's the start of the week and I did get one eBay sale for 10 whole dollars. So if you can't find me, I'm rich now. Um, 10 whole dollars, I'm not complaining. Anything is better than nothing. Anything is better than nothing because I am starting back up and I just started back up recently listing things, and being more active on the platforms. And I can't complain that I am getting sales. So if I continue to list even more, be more active, um, Hopefully those sales will increase. So instead of $10, when I add it all up at the end of the week or at the end of the month, it will amount to a pretty good, decent amount that I can put away in like my savings or something. So that's what we got going on right now. Other than that, I'm gonna go pack my eBay order. So one of the best things when you're starting for the first time or starting back up is that you still have that feeling of excitement when you have your first sale again after like a long time of being dormant or when you have your first sale in general if you're very new to reselling it's a very exciting feeling so that ten dollars is very exciting because it has a lot of potential um i know because i know that if you are a reseller and you've been doing it a very very long time you do reach a point where I'm not sure if I would classify it as burnout and maybe it is a little bit of burnout, but you don't get excited for simple sales anymore. You get excited when there's a lot of sales during the week, but you don't get excited for one sale here, one sale there. It's more higher expectations in my opinion that if you are so accustomed to reselling, especially if you did it for a long time, you kind of lose your passion with it. But I think there's a lot of things in the world that can put everything in perspective. Like I see some reseller YouTube channels where they're still bringing in a really good amount, like $3,000 a week, um, selling like 80 things over the weekend. Like those are really, really good, especially given that we are currently under virus apocalypse. And I hope that they see that as something to be excited about something to be grateful for um that's one thing that i fear like i don't want to get to the point where i resent reselling and even when i was more active previously before i went dormant because i went back to school i still felt very excited about it like i miss so much going to the thrift store and finding things only because when i at the very end of when i stopped before i went to school I was finding like really, really good things for very cheap that I was flipping and it was making a good profit. And I miss that. I miss going to the thrift store. And I know that now we are under the current climate, that my way that I source has to change. So that part feels a little bit scary to me. Like I know that people do like liquidations, like I just don't understand liquidations. And I know there's also like estate sales, like they're not doing it so much anymore because um, isolation and all that. Um, but estate sales, like I'm interested in it, but I don't even know how those work. And I feel weird. In my mind, it feels weird to me, like walking through somebody's house 
and picking out what I want to potentially buy. Like that feels strange to me. I guess I'm just more accustomed to like the garage sale format. Anything new to me scares me. You know, I'm very much a person that needs routine, that needs familiarity. So I do have to step outside of my comfort zone and start looking for different ways to source things. So there are a few things that I found that I have sourced online. I haven't pulled the trigger yet as far as purchasing it because I feel a little bit guilty about it. Like I'm second guessing myself. I'm like, should I invest my money into sourcing these items or should I save my money in the sense I don't know how long the virus apocalypse is going to last? Like, is this going to last? more months from now or is it coming to an end? I know in California they just started reopening the beaches and I'm not sure if that means that we are gonna try to come back to some sort of form of normal. Like I guess I'm worried about where things are going. Like are we gonna have to self-isolate for more months or is that coming to an end now? Like I don't I don't know. There's just too many unknowns. It gives me a lot of anxiety. I just don't know. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at right now. And I'm going to go ahead and pack my $10 eBay order because, you know, that's my only sale I got going on right now. I'm just kind of figuring it out. So if you are a reseller, let me know how you're doing below. Um, other than that, I'll keep you updated and hopefully as we continue on, um, things will get better and better, but we shall see. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.